Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I'm not going to make a habit of doing this uh, because I honestly don't have the time, but I thought this was actually a, um, a chance to share some knowledge and um, try to help somebody out at the same time. And, uh, you know, maybe somebody else can learn from this video as well. So that's why I'm going to do it. I got an email and I'm going to read some of it to you. Uh, this, guy, uh, this guy sends me an email and says that uh, he watches my videos on YouTube and he uh, really enjoys it basically that I uh, the way I explain things and um, he's new in the field and he was wondering if I could explain how a circuit works um, he explains further that uh, a vehicle was brought in with no heat uh, he followed the diagram started from blower motor had voltage at the blower motor and goes on to say he checked the relay for power and so on and so forth. Um, basically, his question comes down to uh, how come I have voltage at the blower motor even though there is nothing connected on the switch and why did it not turn on? Uh, can you explain how this diagram works? Uh, I'm paraphrasing here. Uh, okay. Basically, he sent me a diagram. Okay, so <clears throat> I printed out this exact diagram, okay, and what I want to do is I want to go over it with you guys, if I can set up my camera here to show you what I'm looking at, and I will go through this diagram with all of you, especially for him, and hopefully I can explain this and uh, get him to understand what's going on. So let's see where we could go here, how we can do this. All right, guys, this may not be ideal, but maybe I can uh, give you my thoughts on this real quick. This is the diagram that I printed that I was sent. Power is mapped out on here from him in pink. Ground is mapped out in uh, green, okay? So simple enough, hot and run, you have one fuse, and that hot and run, when you turn the ignition on, is going to power up the one side of the relay coil okay the other side of the coil is grounded all the time so that means as soon as you put 12 volts here it's going to create a magnetic field pull the switch closed and it's going to connect your battery which is your battery fuse right hot at all times to here and it's going to send power down to the blower motor so in essence when you turn the key on in this vehicle you are going to have power here, all right, if that makes sense. You're going to have power here. If the circuit is working properly, the relay is good, fuses are not blown, you are going to have power here. With that said, get a test light, get a headlight, go to ground, go to this side of the plug, turn the key on, you should light the light. Do not use a power probe for this testing. A power probe will lead you in a very bad direction a power probe does not require 12 volts to light. So if you have 4 volts, you're still going to get a light on the power probe and you're going to be going down a rabbit hole. Um, that was one question that he had asked me and I want to clarify that. Do not use a power probe. You have to load test and that is not a load testing device. A headlight is a load testing device. Um, so say that at this point we have 12 volts here. We have to concentrate on the ground side to the blower motor. If you go here you have this connector disconnected and you go to this side to the blue uh, I can't see too good that's blue and white if you go to the blue and white wire you put your test light to power okay the alligator clip to power and go in here you're gonna have what ground when well you should have it through the whole range of the switch for the uh, blower motor not an off guys right the whole range of the switch, meaning, you know, speed 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now, always check it through the entire range because you may have it only on 4 because 4 is high speed, and 4, if you follow it, there's a splice right here. It does not go through the resistor. Number 4 speed, high speed, will bypass the resistor directly to the blower motor. So, if that's the case and you only have ground when you turn it on high, um, you have a resistor issue for one thing. Okay, you should have you should have you know ground here, uh, you know on any on any speed. Now, 
keep in mind, if you have power and ground here, guys, you have a bad blower motor. Simple as that, okay? If you could go across this with a test light or a, or a headlight with it unplugged, uh, and you can turn the blower speeds on and it lights that light, and obviously it's going to be dimmer on lower speeds than high, than high speed, you know, for obvious reasons, you have a resistor here. Uh, but if you can light that light on all speeds, you have a circuit that works and you have a bad blower motor. All right, so I hope that explains, uh, this is, you know, quick and dirty here, but this is, I'm just trying to explain how this circuit works. It's, um, load testing is the key though. You have to, you have to load test. Uh, that's really it. That's really all there is to it. If you have nothing here on the ground side, through any of these, uh, through any of these uh, ranges in the switch, well, you, then you, I mean, you either have a broken wire uh, someplace, you know, maybe here, whatever. You have a bad switch assembly. You have a bad ground here that, you know, does not have an input to the switch. Uh, these are all the things you'd have to look for, but you have to work on the circuit and you have to backtrack through it. That's the easiest way to do it. Start at the blower motor. That's the end of the circuit. You have 12 volts here. Guess what? Relay is good. Uh, wiring integrity is good, fuse is good up here, fuse is good here, because if either one of these fuses are blown, you will not have 12 volts here. So start here. You get what I'm saying? It's the, it's the quickest path, like electricity, right? Uh, it's going to take the quickest path to ground. Same thing here. We want to take the quickest path to a diagnosis. So go, to the, go here. It's easy enough to get to the blower motor, I would assume, on the vehicle, um, and test here. 12 volts, good, move on ground. That's the only other thing you need to make this thing work. You have ground here, you have a bad blower motor. You have no ground here, well, make sure you check it on all the speeds, first of all. And if you still have no ground here, you're going to be looking, I would be going right to the switch. And I would be checking my input here black. I would load test this. Do I have, 12, do I have ground here? If I do, I'd be going out here do I have ground output here on any of the and on all of these? If I do, well, that sucks. I'm chasing a broken wire. If I don't, I got a broken I got a broken switch. It's all understanding the circuit and and how to quickly determine what you have to do next. Okay, because every test we do is going to lead into the next step. If you're not doing that, you're doing it wrong. So uh, I hope that this helps you, and I hope you understand. Uh, you know what I'm trying to explain and um, that's really all I can tell you you just have to test start here like I said that's that's the quickest way to determine where you're at and where you're gonna end up with the diagnosis thanks for watching guys hope this helps somebody have a great night